Welcome to App Design Tips. Today we're going to play with a little Chrome extension called VizBug. Now, VizBug allows you to play with anybody's website, break it, move things around, change the text, the style, anything you want on anybody's website. And it can also be used to understand how a web page is created and to get inspiration for different design ideas. So here we have Apple's website and I can just open up this VizBug. If you want to know where to install this for your Chrome extension, there's a link in the description below and you can find that there. And let's just navigate around here. So first we have the Guides tool. And if you hover over any one of these tools, it's going to give you a little tool tip here showing you how to use this tool. And basically this one, you just hover around and see how things align with each other. So it's very simple, straightforward. And the next one is the Inspect tool. So if we use the Inspect tool, we can hover over any element. It'll give us any of the CSS properties, the background images, the sizes, different things like that. And here, for example, we have the font size. So we have SF Pro display, the font weight, size, letter spacing, and we can get those properties here and learn how other people design with CSS properties. Real quick, if you're new to my channel and you want to learn more tips and tutorials like this, hit subscribe and click that bell icon for more videos. Now the next tool is accessibility if you want to learn some of these accessibility properties that are used. And then we have a move tool. And we have some tool tips down below that will show us if we use these arrow keys. This is how we're going to manipulate these. So I use the move tool. If I select this text, for example, I can just move this up or down. And I want to hold down shift enter to grab the parents. And now I can move this and rearrange the order however I'd like. So that's the move tool. Now this margin tool, if we select a few elements like these links, for example, I'm going to hold down shift here. If I want to add some margin down below here for this nav bar, I can just hit this bottom arrow key. And if I hold down shift, you can see more dramatically, we are growing that navigation and adding a lot more margin to each one of these items. So that's how you add margin. In fact, if I do select all these items again, and I go to the margin tool, I can hit the right and left arrow keys and add some side margins there as well. And similar to margin, we have padding. So if we want to change any of the padding for this button, for example, we can select that and then use these arrow keys to increase the padding of this button left and right. If we want this button to be a lot bigger, we can do so very quickly. Now, we also have some Flexbox Align tools. So I'm going to scroll down here and we have a grid of some images here, right here. So I can select the parent element of all of these boxes here. And then if I hover over this tool, it's going to give me some alignment options telling me that I can align using my arrow keys. And so let's just try that here. I'm just going to use some of my arrow keys and you can see it lines to the left, to the center, to the right. And I can hold down shift to distribute these full width. And if I hold down command and hit the right arrow key, I can change the direction in which this is displayed. So very quickly, I can change where these things are laid out in the Flexbox order. Now things start to get really wild here as I look around on this web page. I can come over here into the colors and select this background for example. And let's say I want this background to be red. So I'll go ahead and do that here. And now that background is red. And you can see the image is black here, but we can change anything that we want. In fact, this text here is yellow. If we just select this text now, we can see that it has this yellow golden color and I can click on this P tag to select all the paragraphs of this website. And now I can go back into my text color tool and I can change this to be black if I want and or white, blue, whatever I want. So, oh man, that's beautiful. So now we can Scroll down here, we have some properties that can change the drop shadows. So if there's anything that has shadows on them, you can change the shadow properties there. And I'm gonna scroll down here. In fact, that's really hurting my eyes actually. So I'm gonna go back here and change this to, yeah, that's a good color. Okay. And let's come down here. And I wanna show you the move tool. So we have these three items right here. And you know, I really don't want this much margin here. I'm just gonna fix this because that navigation is not how I want it. So I can come over here into the padding again and to remove some of this, I can hold down option and now I can remove some of that margin here. 
Okay, so now let's go over here into the position tool. And position, you just click and drag an element and let's change the position. How about that? So we can move things around however we'd like here. We can come around here, the position of any of this text, we can do that here. Doesn't look like I grabbed the paragraph here of all the paragraphs when I wanted to change this. So I can go back in here and do that. Now it looks just beautiful. Okay, now we've changed a few things here. Let's say that this text is really huge. We wanna see what it looks like if it were smaller. We can use this text tool here. First of all, we can just bump up or down the size using the up and down arrow keys. So I like that, it's a little bit smaller there. And that looks really good. But if we come over here, we can actually change the weight too. So if I hold down command and the down arrow or up arrow, I can change the actual weight of that font. And if we have multiple fonts selected, so I'll select this one and this one, if I resize this, it's not going to make it the same exact size, it's just gonna bump those relative sizes up one or down one. Same thing with the weight. So if we change the weight here, oops. Now I just reset everything because I went back a page. So I'm gonna come back over here, go into the weight. I'll select this, bring this down. And now that this is down, let's change the weight of it. So this is thin and you can see that the text right beside it is bold. So I'm gonna select both of these and I can change the weight on both of them, make them thicker or thinner, and it'll just bump them up one or down one, no matter what that way starts out as. So that's how you change text. And if we come down here to the very bottom, we have some text that we might wanna change on this site. So explore iPhone accessories. And then we can select any piece of text and edit this to whatever we want. So now we can explore Android accessories. Now the last tool, you can search different elements, CSS properties here. You can do that, so if you wanna search images and find out where all the images live, you can click on that and it'll find all of the images for you. So that's just a quick tour of VizBug. And I talked to Adam Argyle, who's the creator of VizBug, and he told me he created this so that designers like us can learn how other websites are created, we can break things, and just explore how we would change the design without having to rely on the CSS properties or the order of things. We can just jump in here with the freedom that we have with these tools and change the font sizes, move things around, and just really get it to look the way that we want and explore different ideas. Now, VizBug relies on a lot of keyboard shortcuts, so to learn these shortcuts and learn how to use this the best way, then Adam created a little sandbox page that you can use to explore these tools. For example, if we scroll over here to Keyboard Nav, we can select on one of these items and he's telling us if we hit Tab, we can select other items to the right, or if we hold down shift tab, it's going to move back into the left. Same thing with select multiple. He shows us if we hold down shift, we can select multiple items. If you wanna change a color, click on one of these squares, then click the color icon under the toolbar. And so we'll do that. And right here actually, and we can change this as well. So these are very nice tools. Same thing with margin. So I can select one of these guys to change the margin, but I can also click on the CSS tag right here and then when I click on the margin, I can hold down and I can add some margin above and below. So use the sandbox page to learn more about the tool. I also have a link in the description below if you want to download this Chrome extension or use this sandbox. So feel free to do so. I hope you enjoyed VizBug and if there are any other tutorials or tips you want me to cover, be sure to leave a comment below.